Jacob Gerber is a junior at Utah Tech University. He came here to study software engineering, but is taking several classes in general education. This is an art class where he's learning drawing and composition. It's the same as doing a shape, like the boxes. As a deaf student, Jacob requires help to understand what the professor is saying. Fortunately for him, Utah Tech's sign language program has evolved into a degree in interpretation, where he is given interpreters for each class he takes. I mean, this university has full access with interpreters, and it's, so that's been a really amazing experience. It doesn't matter what it is, the university wants you to have access, and so they provide interpreters that can do videos and um, interpret lectures online or um, just whatever the need is for that class. So I think that's really cool. Other universities I've gone to have not provided me interpreters. Um, and that really, they're not following ADA laws. I mean, there's specific rules that you have to follow underneath the ADA, so that's been a problem at other universities I've gone to. Chantry Knox is one of Jacob's interpreters. Chantry and Sarah Hines work together as a team. They take turns during Jacob's classes, signing and interpreting his lessons. Today they are attending a chemistry class. I'm really lucky because I'm friends with Jacob. He's so cool. And so it makes it, and then my fiance is my team. So it's kind of a comfortable environment. Sarah graduated from Utah Tech last year and is a professionally certified interpreter who has been in the field for three years. I'm here because I care about the deaf community and their, and their rights and needs and so I just really love being a part of that every day. And what I love about interpreting is the variety of experiences and settings that I go interpret in. In his chemistry class, Jacob was able to notice visually that one of the elements on a sheet was color-coded incorrectly. Just with chemistry, it's just really visual, so um, I take in a lot of the visual information that we learn about. Everything's color-coded and and organized into groups and so I just recognized something was off. And because interpreting requires both physical and mental skills, those involved tend to have to quickly switch their thought process by using different parts of the brain. When you're an interpreter, you have to take the incoming stimulus, so English, so I would have to take English, process it in my head, switch it from English language to ASL language, and then give it to you while it's still continuing. So I have to listen to it, hold on to it, change it from one language to another, and then put it out in one language. Or I take it in visually in ASL, switch it in my head to English, and then provide it into English. And because interpreting is such an intense form of communication, most will trade off interpretations every 15 to 20 minutes so as not to get weary from the translation process. I kind of compare it to like a muscle in my brain when I don't interpret very much, I can feel the strain of trying to get that processing in my head. Um, so it does feel like different hats when I listen and am signing versus watching a deaf person and voicing. That does feel like different in my head. I remember it took me like two years of like working on interpreting and I realized one day I didn't have a headache and it, it wasn't hurting my brain to try and keep up. And I was like, oh my gosh, all of my practice, I've been working and working and it finally feels a little bit more flow state. So it just takes a lot of work and a lot of practice. Jacob said all his professors have been willing to bridge the gap when it comes to lectures and instructions. From my experience, professors here have been really comfortable and they've already had experiences with deaf people here. And so when I show up and need interpreters and need that access, it's I mean, sometimes it's a little awkward with professors if they don't have that experience, but for the most part, it's been really great. Allison Hamilton, who has been the professor of the ASL program since 2014, said ASL has been growing here dramatically. Fall of 2022 was our first fall where we had our official interpreter training program. So there wasn't a degree before that, but it is... Uh, in the fall, from the fall until now is February, our counselor told us that we have 26 students that have declared interpreter training as their major. So that's 
I mean, zero to 25 is pretty good. Dr. Hamilton says this career opportunity has been ever increasing nationwide due to demand. Well, the strong need comes from deaf people asserting their rights. According to the Americans with Disabilities Act, they have the right to equal access. Many have job offers before they even graduate. In Utah, you must have a license or be certified to be an interpreter. Utah Tech's a fabulous university, and there's a lot of programs for deaf students to get degrees. Those students need interpreters. And the more deaf people that are in the area, the more interpreters you need. I think it's really wonderful that um, that the interpreters and just the situation continues to improve. I mean, it's not really been a struggle and the motivation to uh, for the interpreters, they, their motivation to continue interpreting and loving interpreting. I think that they just show that they're really involved, uh, willing to be involved in the deaf community. And you know, there's some interpreters that get certified and then they they don't really care to be involved. So the interpreters here really care about being involved and really care about the deaf community. So that's really awesome. Yeah. So just being with Jacob is is really great. He's very gracious which is <laughs> appreciated. I'm here because I care about the deaf community and their, and their rights and needs, and so I just really love being a part of that every day. And they've already gained respect from the deaf community. And only a deaf person can give you your sign name. So my sign name is Chantry. My name sign is Sarah. Uh, the young uh, preschool kids that I did an internship with thought my eyes were really sparkly, <clears throat> so they said, I'm Sarah. From Utah Tech University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.